Welcome back. In the last video, we started to talk about dry systems and how the fire alarm panel monitors the air pressure switch up here um, to make sure that the proper amount of compressed air is in the pipe and that it also monitors the water pressure switch to make sure that we know when the system starts to flow. Um, and now we're going to look at how these, this is just a continuation of that video, we're going to look at how these are, are, are tied into the fire alarm panel. So you're, when, your, when your system loses pressure, you want to know, but it's not an alarm. It's not really an emergency. So you're either gonna you're either gonna make that a supervisory switch, like we did with our valve tampers, or if your panel doesn't have that capability, then it's gonna be a trouble. So I drew um, these this purple and orange uh, these these contacts up here. These are both on the uh, the low air switch. So you have your high air pressure and low air pressure. That should be pretty straightforward. Um, you have your water pressure switch. Now that's like your that's like your your water flow alarm in, in a wet system. So that's going to be an alarm. And then you have your valve tamper down down here. And that's that's um, if you don't have a supervisory, it's going to be trouble. If you do have a supervisory, that's what it'll be. Um, and again, you'd have to monitor any one of these valve tampers along the run. Anything that could shut off the water and compromise the system's functionality, you have to monitor that. All right, so let's start. This this panel, we don't have any supervisory relay. We're going to assume that we do not have supervisory capabilities on this panel. So these are all going to be troubles. So zone one will make our high and low pressure. We're going to take our negative. What does the panel want to see? It wants to see a resistor, right? If it sees a short, it's going to go into alarm. Um, and if it sees an open, it's going to go into trouble. So we don't want to make an alarm. We want it to open up. We want it to see the resistor and open up. So we could take our positive and go to our low pressure switch. And now what? We have, we still, the, the panel still wants to see a resistor, right? So we can go from common on our high side to normally closed on our low air side. And let's follow, let's follow the current. Current's going to go from negative. It's going to go through the normally closed on the high, through our resistor, through normally closed on our low, back through common to positive. So all we see right now is our resistor. If one of these switches were to change states, so in other words, if we were to lose pressure on our system, this armature would go to the other side, right? It would go, it's still going to be common. It's going to go to normally open. So we're going to have our open circuit. Now our current could not flow you know, right, right here, it would, it would, it would be all the way to this point. It would go through our resistor, and it would stop because this is no longer, you know, this change states. So that's not a new idea. That should be easy enough. So we're going to get a trouble on our on zone one, on uh, you know, if, if whether this thing, whether this compressor pumps too much air in, or if it pumps not enough. And like we said in the last video, uh, by code, the high side should be 10 psi over. Um, over the calibrated setting. So if we use our same example of 40 PSI, then when, it, when the system gets to 50 PSI, the high side should change states. And on the low side, the low side should uh, change states. Um, all right, so that's easy enough. Let's make zone two our valve tamper. Well, our valve tamper is gonna work basically the same way. Since we don't have supervisory, we wanna get in trouble. So we're gonna go negative to normally closed, positive, we're going to want to go to common, but we don't want to go right to common, right? Because we need to get our resistor in the circuit. We still need to see the resistor. So now we're going to put our resistor in series. So we're going to tie it to that terminal. We're going to screw it in. And then here, we'll wire nut it or dolphin clip it, whatever you want to do. And so if you follow the current, we have you know negative. It's going to go through normally closed, through common, through the resistor, back to positive. And if you were to open that that valve up then you know this would change states it would open your circuit um, and now our water flow our water flow we do want to be an alarm so let's say we make zone three our water flow switch um, I drew the, the the context for the pressure switch up above it um, these are kind of these are just kind of a little you know, a drawing of, of these devices with the covers on them so I know they're not in a lot of detail but if you took the covers off there's little micro switches in there um, that you could read up on how that works. It's not, um, you know, it's not anything too advanced. And there'd just be two sets of contacts on each one of these. So um, for the for the water flow, we're going to go, you know, negative. 
we're going to go to normally open on our pressure switch. I called it a water flow, but you know, it's kind of the same idea. And then positive will go to, to normally open now. We don't, well, well, this is common. I guess we went, to, we went to normally open on the other side. So now we're going to put our resistor in parallel. And so all the panel sees right now would be this resistor, right? Because it's not going to go through normally open. It's not going to make that contact right there. Um, and if this changed states, then it would short. Our current would all flow right, right from negative, you know, right through the context to positive. It's going to bypass the resistor. That you know, it's going to take the path of least resistance. Current's going to increase, and the panel's going to go into alarm, and your alarm relay would change states. So that's how that's wired. Now let's take a look at it um, at a similar system, but one that has supervisory capabilities. So we're going to do this a little bit different. Like we talked about in the last video. Um, when we introduced the idea, or one of the last videos, when we introduced what supervisory is, the panel must have the ability to um, to program zones. So I, I must be able to tell the panel, even if it's a conventional panel, I'm, I'm, I'd have to be able to tell the panel, okay, zone one is going to be a supervisory. You know, maybe it's going to be my my high and low air, right? My high, low air, and that would be the label on the panel. Sorry, this thing's really hard to write on. And then zone two might be my valve tampers, VT. Zone three is going to be my water flow. So I would have to program zones one and two for supervisory. And once that's done, it's going to, it, now we're going to want to make it short out. Because if it opens, it's still going to be a trouble. But when it shorts, since it's already programmed this way, it's going to go into supervisory. And we'll get into that a little bit more. That should make more sense. You know, the, the, the more, we haven't even talked about addressable panels at all yet. So once, you know, the programming idea will, will come around. But um, suffice it to say that the panel would already know ahead of time that zone one, a short on zone one, or an increase in current, right, on zone one would be a supervisory signal. So let's wire this up now. It's going to be a little bit different. Well, we're going to go negative. Now, each one of these is going to have to have the capability of shorting out our circuit, right? So we're going to go negative to normally open, positive to common. And instead of putting our resistor right here, we also need to know if the higher pressure shorts out. So we're just going to kind of go, we went into it, we're going to take a new wire and go out of it. We went from common, we'll stay with common. And then on our negative side, we went normally open, we're going to go to normally open on our negative side. So now either one of these, if they change states, would um, would short out our zone, right? So if, if this orange... Um, low pressure side change states it's going to short out our zone right because it's going to go negative it's going to take the path of least resistance right to positive and back and that's going to be an increase in current and same on the other side i don't think i have to draw that so now we're just going to put our resistor in parallel here and in a normal state all our panel sees is it's going to go i can't go anywhere from here because it's normally open right it's not connected to anything in a normal state so it's going to go to this terminal, same thing, it's normally open, I can't see anything, it's going to go back through our resistor to common, you know, it would be, technically it would be energized all the way up to here, but it can't go anywhere. So it's going to go right back on our red wire and back to the panel. So that's going to be the proper amount of, cur proper amount of current, all the panel sees right now is our resistor and it's happy. And if either one of those shorted out, it would be an increase in current, which ordinarily would cause an alarm, but because we've already programmed zone one, as our high low air, our supervisory, it's going to be a supervisory. And now these supervisory contacts down at the bottom of the panel are going to change states. That may be connected to a dialer or whatever. All right, so that was zone one. Let's wire up zone two. This one will be easier because there's only one. So we're going to go negative to normally open, positive to common. And you could switch this. I, I you know, I've, you probably noticed that I always go negative to, I always go um, common to, I'm sorry, positive to common. And that's um, there's a reason for that. It's because of when we do things like door holders. You know, there are certain applications where you want that positive voltage sitting at the armature, so it's going to go whichever way the relay does. But for an application like this, it really makes no difference. And we'd put our resistor right in parallel with this. So if you open up a wire, you're not going to see a resistor. You'll get your trouble. But if the tamper's closed, it's going to short out. And again, it's not going to be an alarm because Zone 2 is programmed for supervisory. So if this shorts out, the current's going to take the path of least resistance current's going to increase and the panel knows okay an increase in current on zone two is a supervisory and you know in the other example we had all these valve tampers down here if we needed to supervise all those on the same zone we do it the same way we did 
on our high low air switch. So we could take our negative out of normally open from one, oh, that's the wrong color, out of normally open from the first one, go to the second one, normally open on the second one, normally open on the third one, and it'd be different wires, you wouldn't just loop it like that. Then here, go to common, 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 etc. And now you'd put your resistor at the end of this circuit. So if any one of these shorted, you'd get your increase in current um, and so on. So hopefully that makes sense. That's probably a little bit, that's a little bit much. Um, now let's just wire up our water flow. This is pretty straightforward. Same way we wired up our water flow in the last example. We're going to go to normally open, positive. We're going to go to common, and we're going to put our resistor in parallel. And this water flow would also have two, um, two sets of contacts on it, just like our other one did. And we could wire a bell right through that. And you know that's what you would have to do in this application because this takes the place of um, of the water flow switch like we looked at. So you know that would be wired up exactly the same way as it was in, in the, you know a couple of videos ago when we looked at the, the regular water flow switch. So if if you want to review that, it would be exactly the same on here. So hopefully this makes sense. You know, like like always, if it doesn't make sense, then feel free to comment on uh, on the video, and I'll respond to it. I'll see you in the next video.